Hey guys, what's up? So I thought I'd show you how to recover a 18650 uh, lithium ion cell here. So I'm actually working on a couple projects where I need these cells. And actually I've been taking my old laptop batteries and breaking them open and taking the cells out. But this one battery right here, this uh, laptop battery actually had six cells. And I'm going to show you real fast so you can see. Hopefully you can see that on the multimeter. These things basically have no voltage. And the problem is when they have no voltage, most smart chargers like this, like this IFDT charger, won't even charge it, won't even detect it as a cell and reject the battery. So what you have to do is kind of jump the battery. And it's the same thing even with like a, with a car smart charger. If the main battery is too low, it won't even detect it. It thinks it's a bad battery. So you need to kind of charge the battery in parallel or you need to have some sort of external like uh, power supply to kind of jump it. So a couple different ways you could do that. You could, uh, I could basically run a jumper wire and charge the two cells in parallel. And you know, that would actually bring up the voltage on the, on the dead cell. If it's even possible to recover, we're going to find out right now. Um, or I could, like I said, I could hook up to my leads on my variable charger. So I bring that up right now to 12 and bring it down to 37, as close as I can get to 37. And I'm going to charge it that way. I'm going to charge it just enough so I can get it on my smart charger. So my smart charger can detect it. So let me show you on the smart charger, you know, what actually what it does when it you have a bad cell that's connected to it and it won't charge. I got these little holders on Amazon. I think we can get them, but I think it was like five bucks for a pack of five. But obviously you want to make sure the polarity is correct, positive, negative, negative. Uh, it's, it's like a double A battery or triple A battery, the same type of thing. That side is negative, this side is positive. The small side is positive. All right, so I have all the wires connected right here, and I want to bring you into that thing. So, like I said, because the the voltage is so low in that cell, that it thinks the thing is not even connected. It says battery not connected. So I gotta throw a quick charge on there on a dummy charger or something that's not going to try to detect the voltage, the charge, and that could be, like I said, the power supply, or it could be like a 3.3 volt AC adapter, or you could, like I said, you could do it in parallel with the good cell. Just enough to bring it up. Like I think this one is like 2.8 volt is the minimum charge, or 2.9. I can't remember, but there's a minimum charge voltage before this thing will even start charging a lithium cell. Get my leads on here. Make sure the polarity is correct. Right, we'll give this a couple minutes. Make sure this thing doesn't overheat. Make sure we're getting good contact. I'm probably going to put my multimeter there just to make sure. We'll check that we're actually getting the voltage we need to get. Okay, 3.6 volts. All right, so I'll give this a couple minutes and we'll come back and we'll do another voltage test on the leads. Okay, as I'm going, as I'm charging, uh, look at some of these cells. These things are in bad shape, man. So I do good ones. And then look at this one. Let me get the multimeter in here so you can see it. Some of these things actually have reverse polarity. That one's bad. We'll, we'll see if I can recover it, but yeah, that one has reverse polarity. Wow. Yeah, reverse polarity. So that's that's odd. Plus, I, I think this is actually was a recycled, uh, like it wasn't even a, well the other one, it wasn't a factory battery, it was a it was even a refurbished, it was a refurbished battery, and they already, you can see that they uh, uh, took out the uh, the manufacturer, they, they crossed it out, so that's a little sketchy. I suspect there's something wrong with this cell, just because it's not even pulling down any current either on the power supply, so. Alright, I'm going to try another cell, the one that looks the most promising, that has a few millivolts of voltage on it. Alright, we'll try this again with a different cell. Okay, see now this one's actually pulling down amperage here. Alright, so this one's kind of charged, and this one might be able to be recovered. I mean, I'm not sure that the total capacity, was, we're going to be able to recover that, but we'll see. Alright, so the cell's getting a little bit warm now, and it's still pulling down about 700 milliamps. So let me uh, shut this off, and we'll check the voltage to see if this thing's ready for, uh, to be put on the smart charger. Yeah, you don't want to keep it on that charger because it could overheat it. 
So, like I said, I don't know if the cell is even good or bad, but let's see the choice. Check the voltage. All right, we're at 2.7 volts. So I need to be at 2.9 volts for this thing to uh, detect on. At least it said that the minimum charge voltage is 2.9 volts for a lithium ion. All right. Okay, so we're, uh... All right, so it looks like we're pretty good. All right, I'm gonna hook up my leads to this. All right, and it's picking up 3.7 volts on the charger. And this was that one that was totally dead. All right, so we're gonna do a lithium ion. 4.12 volts, one cell, current, da da da. Actually, I'm gonna make this lower because I'm trying to recover it. I'm gonna go as slow as possible. 100 milliamp. That shouldn't make any difference. One cell. You can't really balance one cell. Alright, got another one to pop here. And you can see because it's bringing down current right there. Alright, so I'm going to charge this up for a few minutes until it gets up to at least 2.9 volts. But uh, that's how you do it, you know? Alright, that's it for this video. Cool, got it going. At least a couple of them going. But uh, yeah, I'm going to do a couple charge cycles, charge and discharge cycles. Cool charger. Alright, awesome.